Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome once again to uh, the not the uh, Dr. Nelson Ying Orange County Science Exhibition Awards Ceremony. I'm Bob Madewell, and I am the director of the Dr. Nelson Ying Orange County Science Exposition. This year has been a very difficult year with students battling to stay safe from uh, COVID-19, lacking the ability to work with their mentors and teachers face-to-face -face, and learning how to prepare and present their science fair projects in a whole new way, in a virtual way. Thomas Edison said that genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. Well, there's no doubt that these students who competed this year and this in the science fair sweated through a very strenuous and tedious process to end up here at the Dr. Nelson Ying Orange County Science Exposition. The questions they were asking are varied, but they're extremely important. Some questions are simple, like how does acid rain affect aquatic wildlife? Or do plants grow better in ashes or compost? But there are some tougher questions, problems like using a novel semi-supervised machine learning method to improve image-based lung cancer diagnostic algorithms, or developing a multiple linear regression model to predict specific effects of various lactic acid bacteria dosages on the overall honeybee gut microbiota and the semicerini reduction year four. Uh, truly timely and very important work. The Ying Expo is run entirely by a group of volunteers. It's funded entirely by donations from, the corporate, from corporations, businesses, schools, and fine folks just like you out there. These volunteers and donors have put in countless hours of work, lots of their own money, respectively, to ensure that your child could be here tonight at this science exposition that, so that the science exposition could even happen. This year has been an exception. The volunteers have put in beyond countless hours uh, to ensure that this event could take place. And I wanna personally thank uh, Mrs. Aisha Mercer, Dr. Ann Albright, Dr. Darren Hughes, Mrs. Terry Davis, Mrs. Judy Bright, and Mrs. Asha Mickey. Without these people, uh, I wouldn't be here. There's no activity that combines all the elements of scientific method, mathematics, graphing, writing, research, analysis, and oral presentation, as well as science fair. Having students do science fair projects requires an enormous amount of work and precious time on the part of their teachers. Teachers have kept students organized on timelines, approved and disproved their hypotheses, nagged students to complete pages and pages and pages of paperwork, met with parents virtually. Some even found judges to judge virtually and held school science fairs. Teachers, thank you. Thank you to all of you because without you, no one would be here listening to this ceremony this evening. And uh, that's my dog you hear in the background. She's, she's, she's upset. Uh, we also need to recognize our parents. For students to succeed in science fair, parents must be supportive, patient, and most of all, they have to be willing to let their children grow worms and compost on the front porch or the back porch or even sometimes both porches so that their children can measure how different diets affect the soil that the worms enrich. Or they have to listen nightly to 20 sets of lima beans getting serenaded by hard rock, rap, and classical music on the kitchen table. Or, well, you, you get the idea. Anyway, students, make sure you thank your parents and uh, give them a big hug because they deserve it. And, um, and then I would be ro most remiss if I did not uh, say thank you to Trinity Preparatory School for making this Zoom YouTube live broadcast possible this evening. At this time, I would like to introduce to you Dr. Stephanie Dryden, the Director of Learning and Instruction at Trinity Preparatory School. 
Good evening and uh, welcome students, faculty, the steering committee, and all of our guests to the Dr. Nelson Ying Orange County Science Exposition Awards Ceremony at Trinity Preparatory School. I wanna take a moment to acknowledge the commitment and work that goes into this event. It is inspiring to see the energy, passion, and commitment of so many people. Students, make sure that you thank your teachers for the time that they put into the mentoring and assisting you in this journey. To paraphrase Isaac Newton, we're all standing on the shoulders of giants. Thank you to our entire Trinity Preparatory School Science Department, and especially Dr. Elmarie Mortimer for her leadership with the Science Fair here at Trinity Prep. Thank you to Bob Madewell and his entire team for making the Science Fair and tonight's awards such a success. So students, congratulations and enjoy. Thank you very much, Dr. Dryden. And finally, we need to give a special thanks to our title sponsor, Dr. Nelson Ying Sr. If Dr. Ying had not stepped up 18 years ago to save the Orange County Science Fair, we wouldn't be here tonight. We wouldn't be here at all. Uh, the, the chairman of the board now is Dr. Ying's son, Nelson Ying Jr. And with his continued support and his humble generosity, uh, the Orange County Science and Engineering Fair is now 61 years old. And we still award more, more prize money and trips than any other regional science fair in the state of Florida. Dr. Ying uh, is watching this evening, I'm told, and uh, so is his son. And uh, his son, our chairman of the board, Mr. Mr. Nelson Ying Jr. Mr. Ying has asked me, he said, would like to tell you that he would like to tell you that he looks forward to viewing tonight's event. And he extends his best, his thanks to Trinity Preparatory School. As for all competitors, he says, it's even more inspiring that they're doing this kind of hard work, commitment, focus, analysis, and presentation during the pandemic. Along with all the restrictions, inconveniences, and disruptions to our lives, and especially with the potential risk to their health, to their families, and sadly, the extra grief and stress that may have felt over the past year, they have all been doing heroic work. Moreover, this crisis has shown again and again how really critical science is to everyone. We're sending out handshakes and hugs, he says, to everyone. Hope to see all of you all in person soon. Take care of yourselves, Nelson Ying and family. So, okay, so it's time for me to stop talking now and get what you came here for and what you came to see and hear, right? And uh, I'd like to take just a minute to, uh, to tell you a little bit about our Master of Ceremonies. So Jim Payne joined West Two News, the Net West Two News team in the year 2000. Jim is an experienced, award-winning journalist who believes in making a difference in his community. Jim received journalism's most prestigious honor, the George Foster Peabody Award, the Edward R. Murrow Award, and numerous other awards from the Associated Press and Radio Television Digital News Associations. He also was awarded the Jefferson Award for Public Service, the President's Award for Volunteer Service, and numerous Emmys. And if that's not enough, he's also been named part of Orlando's best TV news team, according to Orlando Magazine, like forever. Well, he was born in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Uh, sorry about those Packers this year, Jim. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you got one of these, but mine just, mine just came in the mail today. What do you think, Jim? Anyway, I digress. 
Jim attended Purdue University, earning a bachelor's degree in communications. Jim has served as a member of the board of directors of Special Olympics Florida for more than a decade, helps fundraise for Edgewood, Ch Edgewood Children's Ranch in Orlando. However, his most well-known community service effort takes place annually, the Jim Payne Fearless 5K for children, raises money for Kids House, a nonprofit organization assisting victims of abuse. And just a few years ago, Jim opened up his personal life to us in a series called, matter of fact, State of Addiction, sharing his deeply personal family story about opioid, opioid addiction and hope that others might find help and healing from a crisis that continues to plague our nation. When he's not working, Jim enjoys running, weight training, hockey, golf, and spending time with his wife, Sharon, and his sons, Jimmy and Michael. Jim has been associated with the Ying Expo as long as I can remember, about as long as I have, I think, 15, 16 years, I'm not sure. It's my greatest honor and pleasure to turn the ceremony over to our master of ceremonies, Jim Payne. Bob, thank you very much, I think. Uh, and I hope that shirt makes it through more than one washing. Not sure what you paid for that. Um, Special shout out to our volunteers again uh, and to Dr. Ying and his son Nelson for their continued support of this event. Um, if, you, um, if you'd like to know more about Dr. Ying, just Google Dr. Ying Cold Fusion. Dr. Ying Cold Fusion. And uh, it's pretty remarkable. Uh, so again, a special shout out to our teachers who are dealing with a lot right now. Um, and I am... Uh, coming to you from the West 2 studios. I just want to give you a very brief look around. Um, that is the, the wall behind me. That's nine monitors kind of uh, work together. And this is uh, a, a different set uh, where we can actually stand up there. And there's Chief Meteorologist Tony Benolfi way in the back back there. Yep, there's, there's Tony back there. And he's getting ready to do his the nightly Facebook Live event. And then uh, we have a different set over here that we stand in front of. And that's where I do the news from uh, at 6 o'clock these days, 6 and 11 o'clock, because um, we all have to keep our distance. So um, time to get started with the award presentations. Special awards are donated by national and local businesses and individuals who simply love science. Should you ever have an opportunity to thank these donors, please do so in the name of the Ying Expo. All awards will be mailed to contact person at students' schools. Teachers, look for these packages in the mail this week, and please distribute the envelopes and awards to students at your school, and we thank you. So here we go with the Dr. Nelson Ying Orange County Science Exposition Special Awards. The American Meteorological Society Officer's Certificate and the Dr. Nelson Ying Orange County Science Exposition adds a $25 gift card to two students whose projects earned recognition for the study of atmospheric conditions or related oceanic and hydrologic sciences. From Lake Highland Prep Free School, uh, Jeffrey Chao, and from St. John Vianney Catholic School, Isabella Glove. The American Psychological Association offers a certificate and the Dr. Nelson Ying Orange County Science Exposition offers a $25 gift card to a junior student and a senior student who best met their criteria in the area of behavioral science. From International Community School, Haley Kelsey. And from Lake Nona High School, Shreya Shrikant. Artiman and Associates awards a plaque and a $100 Amazon.com gift card to one student for outstanding research in environmental science. From Orlando Science Middle School, Mika Singh. The Association for Women Geoscientists awards a female student whose project exemplifies high standards of innovativeness and scientific excellence in the geosciences. In addition, the Dr. Nelson Ying Orange County Science Exposition adds a $25 gift card. From Trinity Preparatory School, Lene Mortimer. ASM Materials Education Foundation, a preliminary certificate and a ribbon are awarded to a project demonstrating the materials paradigm and clarity and presentation. The ribbon is awarded after the recipient of the results by the foundation. The, from Trinity Preparatory School, Natasha Grady, and from International Community School, Keith Dixon. 
CDM Smith awards a $25 gift card and a CDM Smith logo swing bag containing sports accessories to the student who displayed a creative application in environmental science. From Orlando Science Middle School, Monish Sundari. CDM Smith awards another $25 gift card and a CDM Smith logo swing bag containing sports accessories to the student who displayed a creative application in the area of environmental engineering. From Maitland Middle School, Hazel Wolf. Exolith Awards, a merchandise basket, including a certificate, promo items, and Exolith Regolith Simulant Bags for use in future experimentation to the best project, junior or senior, in any category regarding innovation in space exploration. From Lake Highland Preparatory School, Aliza Hassan. The Florida Association of Science Teachers, FAST, awards a certificate and $25 to two students, one in the junior division and the other in the senior division, whose projects exemplified creative research in any area. From Leaders Preparatory School, Saud Alawande, and also from Leaders Preparatory School, Fatima Kogali. The International Community School offers a $25 gift card to a student whose project demonstrated application of the scientific method to an original idea in physical sciences. From Maitland Montessori School, Lucas Fuller. Lucas Nursery offers a $25 gift certificate to a student whose project exemplified outstanding research in plant sciences. From Lake Eola Charter School, Lydia Valier. Mu Alpha Theta Math Honor Society awards a certificate and congratulatory letter to a student whose project displayed a challenging, original, thorough, and creative investigation of a problem involving mathematics. In addition, the Dr. Nelson Ying Orange County Science Expo adds a $25 gift card to this award. From Winter Park High School, Jessica Cho, and from Lake Highland Preparatory School, Steph Steffi Liu. The National Association and Space Administration, NASA, offers a certificate, and the Dr. Ying Orange County Science Exposition offers a $25 gift card to two students whose projects demonstrated insight into Earth's interconnected systems, atmosphere, climate, geosciences, environment, etc. From Lake Eola Charter School, Reagan Hemen Hemenway, and from Trinity Preparatory School, Lene Mortimer. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, awards a certificate to two students and a congratulatory letter to the students' teachers. The projects involve research that emphasizes climate, weather, oceans, coasts, and conservation of aquatic ecosystems. In addition, the Dr. Nelson Ying Orange County Science Exposition adds a $25 gift card to these awards. From Lake Highland Preparatory School, Jeffrey Cho, and from Leaders Preparatory School, Ishmael Mohammed. The Office of Naval Research offers a certificate and medallion to the following junior division students. From Lake Eola Charter School, Kate Lynch, Bella Santuri, and Ryland, Ryland Parati. And from Leaders Preparatory School, Maria Fellow. The Office of Naval Research also awards a certificate, medallion, and a gift card to the following senior division students. From Leaders Preparatory School, Ahmed Elimairi. From Trinity Preparatory School, Lillian Wynn. And from Leaders Preparatory School, Rodena Elgazar. Peterbrook Chocolate of Winter Park offers a $25 gift card to a project in the junior division that best met their criteria of outstanding research in the area of biomedical and health sciences. From International Community School, Charlotte Linville and Scarlett Key. Charlotte and Scarlett. Rico Americas Corporation awards a certificate and publicity on the Rico website and the Dr. Nelson Ying Orange County Science Exposition adds a $25 gift card to the project that displayed technological and scientific innovations that best reflect the principles of sustainability. From Orlando Science Schools, Atreya Manaswe. The Society for In Vitro Biology awards a certificate, congratulatory letter, 
And the Dr. Nelson Ying Orange County Science Exposition adds a $25 gift card to the student whose project exhibited plant or animal in vitro biology or tissue culture. From Lake Highland Preparatory School, Varun Madan. The Stockholm Junior Water Prize Competition awards a certificate and the Dr. Nelson Ying Orange County Science Exposition adds a $25 gift card to a senior division student who exhibited an outstanding water related project. From Trinity Preparatory School, Arden Dean. The Stockholm Junior Water Prize Competition also awards certificates to junior division students who exhibited an outstanding water related project. From Orlando Science Schools, Havish Upada. From Leaders Preparatory School, Ishmael Mohammed. From Orlando Science Schools, Monish Sundari. From Orlando Science Schools, Aditi Swain. From Orlando Science Schools, Snigda Bisa Bathuni. And from, Orlando, from Leaders Preparatory School, Yusuf Kakamov. The St. John's Water Management District offers a certificate to students for their work related to water research protection. From Leaders Preparatory School, Yusuf Kakamov. From Orlando Science Schools, Havish Upada. From Leaders Preparatory School, Ishmael Mohammed. From Maitland Montessori School, Lucas Fuller. From Lake Eola Charter School, the team of Kate Lynch, Bella Santori, and Ryland Parati. From Orlando Science Schools, Aditi Swain. From Lake Eola Charter School, Sean Cole. From Orlando Science Schools, Singda Besabathuni. From Trinity Preparatory School, Arden Dean. From Lake Highland Preparatory School, Tanish McKenna. From Lake Eola Charter School, Esther Maya Tylus. From Lake Eola Charter School, Reagan Hemingway. The U.S. Air Force encourages studies in mathematics, physics, and engineering, and endorses projects that offer Air Force applicability. The following students or teams will receive a certificate, and the Dr. Nelson Ying Orange County Science Exposition adds a $25 gift card to the following students. From Lake Highland Preparatory School, Ann Fang. And from Lake Highland Preparatory School, Asha Reddy. The U.S. Metric Association awards a certificate, and the Dr. Nelson Ying Orange County Science Exposition adds a $25 gift card to a student who used the greatest variety of metric measurements and symbols and uses them properly. From Trinity Preparatory School, Aaron Rubinow. Way Chocolate and Coffee of Winter Garden offers a $25 gift card to a project in the junior division that best met their criteria of outstanding research in the area of behavioral science. From Lake Eola Charter School, Angeline Oliveira. Yale Science and Engineering Association awards a certificate and a pewter medallion to an outstanding senior division student in one of the following categories, computer science, engineering, physics, or chemistry. From Trinity Preparatory School, Alex Wang. And this concludes our special awards presentation. <clears throat> okay, and now for the awards that you have really been waiting for, the category awards. Again, teachers, all awards, certificates, plaques, checks and other information will be sent to you in a package this week. Some of the paperwork is time sensitive, so please distribute everything to your students as possible. And by time sensitive, we mean it's going to happen pretty quickly. So thank you all very much. So here we go with the category awards. Fourth place, honorable mention in the junior animal sciences goes to from Lake Eola Charter School, Reagan Hemingway. Fourth place, honorable mention in the junior behavioral and social science goes to, from Orlando Science School, Anum Ali. Fourth place, honorable mention in the junior biomedical and health sciences goes to, from St. John Vianney Catholic School, Megan Weinmiller. 
Fourth place honorable mention in junior chemistry goes to from Leaders Preparatory School, Marvim Alcatan. And from Lake Eola Charter School, Allery Boston. Fourth place honorable mention in the junior earth and environmental sciences goes to from Maitland Montessori School, Lucas Miller. And from Orlando Science School, Sanjana Thomas. Fourth place honorable mention in junior engineering goes to from Orlando Science School, Rhea DeSetti. Fourth place honorable mention in junior environmental engineering goes to from Orlando Science School, Kriti Kotapelli. And from Lake Eola Charter School, Samantha Dimulescu. Fourth place honorable mention in junior physics and astronomy goes to from St. John Vianney Catholic School, Matthew Eisen. And from Leaders Preparatory School, Hajar Doset. Fourth place honorable mention in junior plant sciences goes to from Leaders Preparatory School, Alvina Iqbal. There are no honorable mention awards in the senior division, so let's move on to third place in the junior division. Third place in junior animal sciences goes to from St. John Vianney Catholic School, Eileen De La Rosa. Third place in junior behavioral and social science goes to from International Community School, Olivia Martin. Third place in junior biomedical and health sciences goes to from Orlando Science School, Colette Pugh. And also from Orlando Science School, Shaley Carey. Third place in junior cellular molecular biology and biochemistry goes to from Lake Eola Charter School, Dominic Morand. Third place in junior chemistry goes to from St. John Vianney Catholic School, Kellen Gonzalez. And from Lake Eola Charter School, Kea Braggs. Third place in junior earth and environmental sciences goes to from Leaders Preparatory School, Ishmael Mohammed. Third place in junior engineering goes to from Orlando Science School, Arav Sonawanme. And from Maitland Middle School, Hazel Wolf. Third place in junior environmental engineering goes to from Orlando Science School, Sningda Basa Bathuni. Third place in junior intelligent machines, robotics, and systems software too, from Leaders Preparatory School, Garham Alcaldi. Third place in junior physics and astronomy goes to, from Orlando Science School, Sneshal Sahu. And also from Orlando Science School, Shrika Velagapudi. Third place in junior plant sciences goes to, from Leaders Preparatory School, Adam Boudre. In the senior division, third place in behavioral and social sciences goes to, from Lake Highland Preparatory School, Shivi Jane. Also from Leaders Preparatory School, Suwad Al Gumari. Third place in senior biomedical and health sciences goes to from Trinity Preparatory School, Carolina Joro. Third place in senior earth and environmental sciences goes to from Trinity Preparatory School, Arden Dean. Third place in senior engineering goes to from Trinity Preparatory School, Natasha Grady. And congratulations to all of our third place winners of the 2020-2021 Ying Expo. Second place in junior animal sciences goes to from Leaders Preparatory School, Suwad El Hawanda. Second place in junior behavioral and social sciences goes to from International Community School, Haley Kelsey. 
second place in junior biomedical and health sciences goes to, from Lake Eola Charter School, Aniston Wilson. Second place in junior cellular, molecular biology and biochemistry goes to, from Lake Eola Charter School, Molly Panisi. Second place in junior chemistry goes to, from Orlando Science School, Mahi Patil. And from Leaders Preparatory School, Sana Abu Saban. Second place in junior earth and environmental sciences goes to, from Orlando Science School, Havish Upada. Second place in junior engineering goes to, from Orlando Science School, Yi Kang Zhu. Second place in junior environmental engineering goes to, from International Community School, Keith Dixon. Second place in junior intelligent machines, robotics, and system software goes to, from Lake Eola Charter School, Ella Matis. Second place in junior mathematics and computational sciences goes to, from Lake Eola Charter School, Jaslyn Hammond. Second place in junior microbiology goes to, Lake Eola Charter School's Olivia Huff. Second place in junior physics goes to, from International Community School, Cole Spencer. Second place in junior plant sciences goes to, from Lake Eola Charter School, Lydia Valier. Second place in senior animal sciences goes to, from Lake Highland Preparatory School, Ahad Ansari. Second place in behavioral, senior behavioral and social science goes to from Leaders Preparatory School, Fatima Kogali. Second place in senior biomedical and health sciences goes to from Lake Highland Preparatory School, Kaylee Phillips. Second place, place in senior environmental sciences goes to from Lake Highland Preparatory School, Jeffrey Cho. Second place in senior engineering goes to, from Lake Highland Preparatory School, Arjun Verma. And second place in senior mathematics and computational sciences goes to, from Lake Highland Preparatory School, Steffi Liu. And congratulations to our junior and senior second place category winners. The Broadcom Masters is the nation's premier science fair competition for sixth, seventh, and eighth grade students. And the top 10% of the students competing here today have the honor of continuing their science fair journey by applying to compete in the Broadcom Masters. Broadcom Masters finalists will travel to Washington to compete, this in DC, to compete for more than $100,000 in prizes, including a top prize of $25,000 and scholarships for STEM summer camps. From the entrance, the top 300 masters will be selected, followed by 30 finalists. Additionally, each of the finalist schools will receive $1,000. All first place winners in the junior division will receive a packet of information and a password to go online to register to compete in the international competition. The Ying Expo has had two finalists in the past three years, and it just so happens that we have one of those finalists here tonight. Maroon Madan is now a junior at Lake Highland Preparatory School and was chosen as one of the 30 finalists to go to Washington, D.C. just three years ago. Maroon would like to take a couple of minutes to tell you about Broadcom Masters and has a couple of special awards to announce. Thank you so much, Dr. Ying. Mr. Madewell and the rest of the Ying Expo board, thank you so much for this tremendous opportunity. It is an honor to speak here once again. Hi, my name is Varun Madan and I'm a junior at Lake Highland Preparatory School. I still remember the day that I started my scientific career um, as a small eighth grader, which now feels like an eternity ago. 
I took a small leap of faith and started my relentless quest to save the honeybees, one of the most important pollinators and agricultural contributors that our world has to offer. And then I asked myself often when I first started, hey, why should I do this? Why can't some qualified scientist at some prestigious university do it? And after weeks of pondering upon this, the answer that I provided to this daunting question was that I thought that I could provide some meaningful input to solve this problem with my unique ideas. My novel treatment could truly help reverse this pollinator decline. And I had something to offer. And once I realized this, the sky <laughs> was the limit. And after competing at my local and state science fair, I too was nominated for an opportunity twice that many of you will be nominated for later tonight called Broadcom Masters. And it is regarded as the nation's most prestigious middle school science competition where you first will fill out an extensive application for the chance to compete with 29 other amazing and brilliant young scientists from around the country. So once again, for this competition, I took an enormous leap of faith to fill out this application. And then by believing in myself, I knew that I truly had nothing to lose. And after months of waiting, I got that coveted phone call from Washington DC saying that I was one of 30 finalists from around the country. So finalist week is so special because of the fact that you get to hear and see and watch some of the most inspiring scientific leaders at the Society uh, for Science and the Public, and you get to form lasting connections with your fellow peers, some of which I still talk to every day today. So this brings me back to my point. The underlying problem is that many people believe that they do not have a shot to make it, that they, they don't even try as a result. And the reality is that you all have a chance. Just believe in yourself and embrace your inner scientist. You all are the future scientific leaders and change makers of the world. So please take advantage of this opportunity. By the way, not to brag or anything, but the last time that I gave this speech, I'm, I'm very pleased to say that we had another finalist from Central Florida that year. Hmm. I, I sense that we have stumbled upon a cool correlation here. So prove me right and let's keep this streak going and expand this sample size of this correlation to n equals two this year. My fellow young scientists, you got this and I believe in you. So I'm excited to once again present the Lemelson Early Inventor Prize of $100 to a sixth, seventh or eighth grade student inventor competing in the Dr. Nelson Ying Orange County Science Exposition. And the Lemelson Early Inventor Prize is being offered at 270 affiliate science fairs this year to also award the Broadcom Masters nominations. The Lemelson uh, Inventor Prize is given to one project of a middle school student that meets the invention reward criteria of demonstrating problem solving by identifying a critical problem, applying empathy and STEM knowledge to find a practical solution, displaying entrepreneurial thinking while developing a tangible event, invention, um, developing an invention to solve a critical societal problem to improve the lives of others, and ideally also exemplifying environmentally responsible thinking in their research and creation of their product. So the Lemelson Early Inventor Prize, sponsored by the generous Lemelson Foundation and the Society for Science and the Public, celebrates young inventors whose pro projects exemplify the ideals of inventive thinking. So this year, we're super proud to award this prize to, from Orlando Science School, Tiffany Gay. We are also excited to be able to once again present the DOD STEM Leadership Prize of $100 to be awarded to a sixth, seventh, or eighth grade student. And this prize is only being offered to 30 affiliate fairs around the world uh, and in, in areas of military impact and those that also award the Broadcom Masters nominations. And the DOD STEM uh, Leadership Prize is to be given to one project of a middle school student in the sixth, seventh or eighth grade that meets the following award criteria. 
And the criteria are that the student or students excel in STEM knowledge and technical skills by placing first through fourth in category judging, demonstrating problem solving skills and determination to overcome challenges throughout their research project, and exemplifying leadership qualities through excellent communication skills and creative thinking. So this year's award goes to from International Community School, Cole Spencer. So thank you very much. And do not forget first place middle school students, please send in your applications for Broadcom Masters in the coming months. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Varun, and thank you for sharing your story and uh, presenting those awards. And I appreciate getting a little break from uh, reading all these names. This is very exciting, though. All first place winners will represent the Dr. Nelson Ying Orange County Science Exposition at the virtual Florida State Science and Engineering Fair, March 29th through April 1st. Winners, you will receive your information via email. Please read this information carefully and quickly, there are tasks that you must complete before this week ends. All first place winners in the junior division will receive a personalized plaque, $50 cash, a nomination to apply to Broadcom Masters, and are moving on to the Florida virtual Florida State Science and Engineering Fair next month. So here we go, first place in the junior projects. Animal Sciences. From Orlando Science Middle School, Atreya Manaswi. In Biomedical and Health Sciences, we have a tie. From Orlando Science Middle School, Anvi Mather. And also from Orlando Science Middle School, Ananya Purimetla. Cellular, Molecular, Biology and Biochemistry. From Lake Eola Charter School, Julia Pack. In chemistry. From Leaders Preparatory School, Tafik Chowdhury. In earth and environmental science. From Orlando Science Middle School, Monish Sarvana Kumar Divya Sundari. in engineering. From Orlando Science Middle School, Tiffany Gay. In environmental engineering, we have another tie. From Orlando Science Middle School, Aditi Swain. And also from Orlando Science Middle School, Mika Singh. In intelligent machines, robotics, and systems software. From Orlando Science Middle School, Zara Serrano Diaz. In Mathematics and Computational Sciences. From Orlando Science Middle School, Shrey Trivedi. In Microbiology. From International Community School, Carter Deloach. in physics and astronomy. From Trinity Preparatory School, Kara Mortimer. In plant sciences. From Trinity Preparatory School, Elliot McDermott. All first place winners in the senior division will receive a personalized plaque, $100 cash, and are moving on to the virtual Florida State Science and Engineering Fair. First place in the senior projects in animal sciences. From Lake Highland Preparatory School, Varun Madan. In behavioral and social sciences. From Lake Nona High School, Shreya Shrikanth. in Biomedical and Health Sciences. From Lake Highland Preparatory School, Krithik Sila. In 
Cellular and Molecular Biology and Biochemistry. From Lake Highland Preparatory School, Anne Fang. in chemistry. From Trinity Preparatory School, Aaron Rubinow. In Earth and Environmental Sciences. From Lake Highland Preparatory School, Nina Agarwal. In Engineering. From Lake Highland Preparatory School, Adanya Batasaya. In environmental engineering. From Trinity Preparatory School, Lene Mortimer. In intelligent machines, robotics and systems software. From Trinity Preparatory School, Alex Wang. in mathematics and computational sciences. From Lake Highland Preparatory School, Asha Reddy. In microbiology. From Lake Nona High School, Bhargav Vyas. In physics and astronomy. From Lake Highland Preparatory School, Aliza Hassan. In Plant Sciences. From Lake Highland Preparatory School, Ane Shah. The following students have been nominated for virtual Lockheed Martin Science Challenge to be held March 6, 2001 by the Orlando Science Center. These students will compete against other students from regional science fairs in Central Florida for thousands of dollars in prize money. Last year's grand prize winner was our own Tiffany Gay. Students will be sent registration information by email tonight. The deadline to apply to this prestigious competition is noon tomorrow. However, they have granted us a 24 hour extension, so you have to get it done tomorrow. Nominees to represent the Ying Expo at the Lockheed Martin Science Competition are in the category of biochemistry, in the junior section, Julia Pack, and in the senior section, Anne Fang. In the category of chemistry, in the junior section, Tafik Chowdhury, and in the senior section, Aaron Rubinow. In Earth and Environmental Sciences. In the junior section, Monish Sundari, and the senior section, Nina Agarwal. In Engineering. In the junior section, Tiffany Gay, and the senior section, Ananya Bathesia. In Environmental Engineering. In the junior section, Aditi Swain and Mahak Singh, and in the senior division, Lene. Mortimer. In Intelligent Machines, Robotics. In the junior section, Zara Serrano Diaz. And in the senior section, Alex Wang. In Mathematics and Computational Sciences, in the junior section, Shrey Trevetti. And in the senior section, Asha Reddy. In Physics and Astronomy, in the junior section, Kara Mortimer. And in the senior section, Eliza Hassan. The Dr. Nelson Ying Science Competition will be held through the Orlando Science Center April 17th, 2021. All high school participants in the physical science field are invited to compete for the Ying Prize of $5,000 to the student and $1,000 to the teacher and $1,000 to their school. Students are urged to download an application from the Orlando Science Center website and apply. The deadline to apply to this prestigious competition is March 10th. Genius Olympiad promotes a global understanding of environmental issues and the achievement of sustainability through basic science, 
arts, creative writing, engineering, design, and business development. Genius Olympiad provides challenges and opportunities for secondary high school students, for secondary school students, excuse me, to instill in them the skills and knowledge needed to be the citizens, leaders, scientists, artists, artists, writers, engineers, and policymakers of the future, agents who will promote and contribute to greater environmental sustainability throughout their lives. Genius is also an abbreviation of global environmental issues and us. One of our former winners, Alexandra Bias from Lake Nona High School shared this with Mr. Madewell. I absolutely love Genius Olympiad. It is now an experience I talk about with almost everyone I meet and in every interview I go into. It was amazing to see all the different issues that people had with their society from all around the world and to get to interact with these people and hear their perspectives. I now have what I consider to be close friends in South Africa, Macedonia, Chile, and more. All of these people had such wide ranging outlooks on the world based on the experiences they've had in their country and their projects reflected this. This year, we have nominated two projects from the Dr. Nelson Ying Orange County Science Exposition to participate in the Genius Olympiad. The Dr. Nelson Ying Orange County Exposition pays your registration fees if you enter. For her project, Precycling Novel Strategies for Dealing with Household Plastic Recycling Year Two from Trinity Preparatory School, Lene Mortimer. And for his project titled, The Effect of Air Pollution on the Biodiversity of Lichens from Lake Highland Preparatory School, Naya Agarwal. Congratulations to these outstanding students. Finally, we've come to the last awards in this 2020-2021 Dr. Nelson Ying Orange County Science Exposition Award Ceremony, the presentation of our Ying Scholar Grand Prize Awards. Among the first place award winners in the junior division, the following students stood out to the judges as the best in the fair. Junior Ying Scholar Grand Prize Award winners will receive a special plaque and $500 cash awards. In the junior division, physical sciences, there are two junior Ying Scholar Grand Prize Award winners. Our first winner is for her project titled, Which Method of Biomedical Waste Disposal is Most Efficient in Protecting Frontline Workers from Needle Injuries? From Orlando Science Middle School, Tiffany Gay. And our second winner is for her project titled Eco-Friendly Water Purifier from Orlando Science Middle School, Aditi Swain. In the Division of Junior Biomedical Sciences, there are two Junior Ying Scholar Grand Prize Award winners. Our first winner is for her project titled Which Form of Calcium Supplementation is Most Effective for Osteoporosis? From Orlando Science Middle School, Anvi Mather. And our second winner is for her project titled UV, the Increased Probability of Deceased Yeast from Lake Eola Charter School, Julia Pack. <clears throat> Among the first place award winners in the senior division, the following students stood out to the judges as the best in fair. Before I announce the senior Ying Scholar Grand Prize Award winners, I need to announce the senior alternates. So for any reason, should the senior Ying Scholar Grand Prize Award winners be unable to attend the International Science and Engineering Fair, or should they qualify for the International Science and Engineering Fair by winning the Florida State Science and Engineering Fair, which has happened several times, by the way, the alternate will need to take their place. And just for added flavor, Dr. Nelson Ying Sr. has decided to award, award each of these students with $500 cash. In the Division of Senior Physical Sciences, the alternate is with her project titled Precycling, 
Novel Strategies for Dealing with Household Plastic Recycling Year Two from Trinity Preparatory School, Lena Mortimer. And in the Division of Senior Biomedic Biological Sciences, the alternate is for her project titled Developing a Molecular Scale DNA Nanochip for Educational Purposes Phase Two from Lake Highland Preparatory School, Anne Fang. And finally, the Senior Ying Scholar Grand Prize Award winners. The students who I am about to announce will also receive an automatic bid to the Virtual Regeneron International Science and Engineering Fair, May 16th through the 21st, 2021, where they will compete and represent the Dr. Nelson Ying Orange County Science Exposition and the state of Florida. Senior Ying Scholar Grand Prize Award winners will receive a special plaque and a $1,000 cash award. In the Division of Senior Biological Sciences, there are two Ying Scholar Grand Prize Award winners. Our first winner is for his project titled Year Four, Developing a Multiple Linear Regression Model to Predict the Specific Effects of Various Lactic Acid Bacteria Dosages on the Overall Honeybee Gut Microbiota and Nosome Serenai Reduction from Lake Highland Preparatory School, Varun Madan. Also in the biological sciences, our second winner is, with his project titled, A Novel Computational Approach to Drug Discovery Through Drug Repositioning, from Lake Highland Preparatory School, Krethik Sila. In the Division of Senior Physical Sciences, there are two Senior Ying Scholar Grand Prize Award winners. Our first winner is, with her project titled Implementation of Time Frequency Analysis for Seizure Localization Phase Two from Lake Highland Preparatory School, Asha Reddy. And our final winner is, with his project titled Using a Novel Semi-Supervised Machine Learning Method to Improve Imaged-Based Lung Cancer Diagnostic Algorithms from Trinity Preparatory School, Alex Wang. And ladies and gentlemen, those are your winners for tonight. Thank you for, again, letting me be a part of something that is really, really special and very important to me. And, and Bob, I'm going to toss it back to you now. Yep. Uh, i tell you what, I think that was a record, uh, it, definitely a record. I, anybody that's done this before knows we'd never get out until after nine o'clock. So uh, tonight, it looks like we're going to get out at eight o'clock. You're probably going to hear the clock chime eight here in just a moment. I want to congratulate all the fine, impressive science students. I firmly believe our future is in uh, going to be in bright and very capable hands. First place winning students, let me repeat what Jim told you earlier. You're gonna to need to check your email tonight or tomorrow. There are deadlines that have already passed and you have been granted very, very short extensions. Teachers of all these participating students, you'll be sent a package with all the awards, the certificates, the plaques, the ch those coveted checks. Uh, even the, uh, those big checks will be in those boxes and those packages. Please be looking for those. Uh, I expect that I am going to probably ship those out on Friday since they're telling me I'm not going to get all the plaques and awards until Thursday. So those will be going out on Friday. Look for those first of next week. Thank you all again, all the students, the teachers, the mentors, the parents, the donors, the volunteers, family, friends, everyone has been worked very, very hard to make this fair successful. A special big, huge thanks to our master of ceremonies, uh, Mr. Jim Payne. And I also want to thank, personally thank Denise Musselwhite, Donald uh, McClendon, Chad Griffith, Elmarie Mortimer at Charity Preparatory School for making this live online presentation possible tonight. And on behalf of everyone involved with the Dr. Nelson Ying Orange County Science Exposition, Thank you for participating and joining us here tonight. 
hopefully we will see most of you again next year at a live Dr. Nelson Ying Orange County Science Exposition. Good night, stay safe, and go bye.